Hello everyone, welcome to a new Toxic Update video, new patch, new video, and today's patch is build V0.75. Uh, one of the biggest things that came out in this update, as I'm showing you now, is a new map called uh, Twin Peaks, I believe. And uh, so I'm going to be showing you a flyover of that. I'm going to go over all the new things they've added, which includes like four new vehicles, I believe. Uh, new weapons and new customization options. Uh, it's a damn big patch. It's really, really good. Um, so yeah, here uh, here I am spawning in the uh, red side. This is cell capture, which is pretty much the capture the flag type uh, game mode for this. And I'm just uh, fiddling with the, the map surroundings. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I'll be going over the new new uh, stuff they added. All right, here I'm showing you the first new vehicle, which I think is called the Streaker. Or I'm sorry, Steve Streamer. Yeah, Streamer. Yeah, that's it. Um, this uh, this is like a little pocket bike type deal that you can spawn by hitting G if as long as you have 100% eaten energy. As I'm showing you here, you can even uh, spawn with it if you have the enemy cell, which is a good getaway vehicle. Uh, pretty simple, other than that. This is the Rhino, uh, which is pretty much this game's equivalent of the Warthog. And there's a uh, something in Planet Side. It's, kind of like this too, I can't remember the name of it. Um, this is a very, very fun truck to drive. It's uh, got a little boost option there, as you can see. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's right mouse button that does that. Um, I couldn't figure out how to <laughs> change the turret the first time I did this, as you can see, but I'm pretty sure it's in, uh, switching between number one and two will allow you to get into the turret. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a basic laser turret. Though The good thing is you're, uh, your player model is not supposed to get shot, so, so uh, that's a that's a plus. Uh, I heard that there's like a self-destruct option on this thing or something. I've not figured it out, but it could just been rumored. I saw it in the chat in the game. Uh, this is a vehicle I didn't know it was going to be put in. As a matter of fact, I thought it was the Falcon when I first got in it. Uh, this is called the Banshee. It's pretty much the uh, game's equivalent of. Uh, it's like a hovercraft type thing. It's a low, low flying hovercraft, uh, kind of like. Uh, Halo's Ghost. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I'm gonna be making a lot of comparisons this video to Halo because that's when I'll. That's like one of my favorite games, and it, uh, it just it does this patch does a lot of things similar, and it does it well. So uh, that's also a graphical glitch I'm been running into. I don't know if <laughs> that's map specific or what the hell that is, but uh, uh, it's kind of rubber bandy. But I'm sure that'll be fixed. But uh, back to this Banshee, uh, you can do some absolutely ridiculous like acrobatics I don't even know what to call it you can go really really damn fast uh, but it's just got a basic turret on it here I'm gonna show you some, uh, some uh, dicking around in this thing it's it's really fun to really fun to drive though um, it's it does take health uh, damage sort of easily but uh, not too bad um, oh yeah that's right uh, <laughs> here's some sweet jumps here but there's another banshee Obviously, you have your red and blue ones, just like all the other vehicles, but there's one part in the middle here that's just kind of grayed out, and uh, I guess it changes team color as soon as you get in, it kind of gets a little lighter version, uh, but I guess that's for making quick runs. This is the Phantom, which is my favorite vehicle so far. I'm pretty sure it's just one-seater. I haven't figured that out, to be honest. Uh, I've not seen anyone else get in it, but this is, uh, this is the basically heavy aircraft support. It's got a turret, and uh, it, can, it can do some damage. Um, I think it has missiles. I, I, I honestly can't remember. I, it'll, it'll show gameplay if, if I do use them. But um, but yeah, this thing's really fun to fly. You can haul ass in it too. I'll show you. Uh, I think right here I'll, I'm doing a fly over the entire map just to give you a sense of scale of what they've added in this patch. And that's that's really what this. If I had to say uh, one thing about this patch it would be the scale i mean this game has probably gotten in a whole order of magnitude bigger it's just from obviously just only a total of two maps but uh there's just it's it feels like a completely different game because of it as you can see this thing can go pretty far uh here's some gameplay of uh self capture game mode uh i guess i, I must have uh, yeah that's definitely rockets or some sort of beam of some kind uh yeah this thing's very effective though uh, here I want to show you a little interesting nugget of information. You cannot steal team vehicles, uh, other team's vehicles, which I I kind of I like that because uh, nothing's worse than in Halo and you know trying to get out and your vehicle's gone. This is the new weapon, the Hellraiser, and as you can see, the emblem or the uh, icon for it is still the uh, flamethrower, which I'm sure it'll change. This thing 
I'm going to show you the alternate fire here. Um, this thing is absolutely devastating. Uh, you could pro you could see it in the teaser trailer, but I get it the hell out of there since I can control it. But as you can see, this big... I, I know the radius is bigger than that, too. It, it seems like it, at least. Uh, here I'm uh, shooting a uh, <laughs> phantom, and uh, things don't turn out very good. So they... For the... Uh, for the shooter, so your target better be pretty damn far away. I uh, hear here's is pretty. This is against uh, after I change my uh, crosshair. I'm gonna show you that later. Uh, near miss, <laughs> so I think I just blew it up in there. But uh, I got him, got myself as well. That's a very fun weapon to use, and I think it it spawn it spawn time is really really long. So um, it definitely definitely takes a while. Uh, but there's another angle. There's a uh, friendly fire, I believe that was. But uh, even then, it knocks you back. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing uh, I found under the drills on both sides of the map. Um, it's a jetpack. So basically, when you double jump, it just allows you to go further. I, I don't know when it expires or whatever because you can't see it on your HUD. But uh, yeah, uh, another thing is uh, th they've got this thing called the impactor that's set as your first uh, button, or, uh, number one, and uh, it's not in the game yet. So apparently they're going to be adding that later. I think it's a, a uh, melee repair weapon, so that's cool. Um, here, I'm going back and showing you change all your settings back because it fucked up everything again. Uh, they, I guess they just can't change this. They save the settings every time they do a patch. Not a huge deal, but uh, so go back and do your mouse. This is so cool here. I've see, I saw talks of it um, on the forums. I didn't think they'd get to it this fast. Uh, this is where you can change your weapon crosshairs, uh, which apparently this is like customizer v 0 0.8 or some shit but um it's already really good there's already a good amount there's like as you can see like it's 18 17 if you don't count the the blank one uh different reticles and uh you can go back and ch just change for every weapon which is really damn cool um so I'll, I'll get into more of that this has been a problem i'm throwing this in here because i've had toxic crash on me before this has been crashing on me like once every three games I try to get in. I don't know if this is a map specific problem. I don't know I, I don't know what the, what the deal is. So I'm sure there'll be a hot fix for it, but uh, if you're running into that, you're not alone. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> so uh, I think here I'm just going to be showing some more uh, generic gameplay and stuff of Soul Capture and then I'll, uh, I'll get into uh, get to some of my notes here about uh, what I like and uh, the very few things I don't I, I don't um, as you can see, I'm running some custom crosshairs here. I think I got like the Crisis Three Prong one on the pistol. Seems to work well. Like I said, this doesn't change the performance or anything of the weapons, but uh, it does seem, especially with uh, the Falcon. Like I got that little bitty crosshair there. It does help for no scopes. I'm sure that will help on like smaller maps like Foundation. Um, but overall, like uh, for this patch in particular, it has absolutely. Uh, reinvoked every bit of excitement I originally had for the game when they were uh, first teasing it. Because this game, the way the movement works, the way the weapons work, it just works so much better on this larger map than it does in Foundation. I'm not saying Foundation's a bad map, but after playing this, my experience on this and having that clusterfuck experience on Foundation, they should limit Foundation to six, eight player bloodlust you know free for all at the very most at the very very most it still seems cluttered with eight people um but i think it's a great two on two like team doubles or one on one map that's a that's fine um so i'm just i just enjoy this map so much more it, even the the strafing makes more sense you can't spam as much uh just the, the range that the weapons have you can take advantage much more of it's just it's it's a much better map design in my opinion for for team-based gameplay and that's what i like this map actually reminds me a lot of like sidewinder from halo 1 or avalanche which is the halo 3 remake and just a lot of the big team maps that was on halo pc and just I, so many people had such a good time oh here's some uh, rocket launcher lock-on stuff that you can finally use which is nice um so yeah the uh the vehicles are fantastic additions. I can't believe how balanced they are out of the gate. Uh, they're not paper mache, but they can be destroyed if you have a Cerberus with you. 
Um, but they're like they're pretty damn balanced. You can if you know what you're doing, you can survive one or you can take one out. Uh, so they're they're really fun. I, I look forward to more maps with them. Uh, maybe not even a map this big uh, would be would be fine. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I like the Hellraiser. I think it's a really cool idea. Uh, I can't wait to use it more and hopefully get some ridiculous multi kills. It's basically just like a here here's a free opportunity for a multi kill. Go at it. Uh, excuse me. But uh, so uh, I I do like that idea. When I first saw it in the uh, trailer, I was like, how the hell are you going to balance that thing? And uh, but they did a good job. I, I like it. Um, I love the crosshairs. I love being able to customize them. I can't wait till they add more uh, variety of things to them. Uh, mine are all straight white, and I have them set to glow. Uh, it gives it a cool little aesthetic to it. Um, it. It fits more with the overall. I don't know that HUD <laughs> here. I'm showing that you can kill yourself with uh, activating that drill. That's what's supposed to do. It's supposed to keep people out of the cell. Uh, uh, but yeah, the crosshairs are awesome. I can't wait to see what uh, they add more of them. Uh, just just a good little, you know, everyone wants something different, and, and this isn't a straight up, you know, aim down sight shooter, so I think it's kind of necessary, so they did, did a good job on that. Um, the On the bad things, the biggest gripe right now, I'd have to say, is the crashes. Uh, I'm sure they'll, that'll get fixed, and it's always when the map is loading, so I'm so, I'm, I'm, I would have to bet it's something to do with this map, and something with, it's just, I don't know, uh, but I... They hot fix that every time, so I'm sure we won't be seeing that issue for much longer. So that ain't too bad. Uh, the one biggest balance issue I could say is I think the cell capture time is way too damn long. Um, I think they should be set it to like 20 minutes at max, maybe 25. That's fine, but I mean, I think I can't remember if this is a bot match or not. But the default is 45 minutes, from what I understand. I don't know if that's what all the online servers are, but when you do a bot match, that's what it is, and. Uh, if you just have really good teams or two really bad teams that uh, can't, you know, just get the damn cell to the other base, you're going to be stuck there for the rest of your life. So uh, I just wish I I would prefer shorter times, and uh, that way you can you know get through more matches. That, uh, but uh, that's all personal preference. But if I had to uh, if I had to put a singular statement on this patch, I would say this game is almost worth the asking price. Um, and it's not even complete yet. If you're a hardcore shooter fan, I'd already recommend it. Uh, but uh, there's uh, there's a lot of good shit being added. There's go that's going to be added later on. We've got uh, I know that one uh, close quarters jungle map, but this one is already just so much fun. And uh, for I think what is it, eighteen, nineteen dollars or something, so, some strange price point. Um, I've I've gotten way more money out of that <laughs> out of this game. They they've lost money on my uh, on my enjoyment. So uh, I I'd say if you've been following it and you're waiting for a decent time to jump in, I'd say now would be about it. Um, especially if you want a big team game uh, environment. So uh, yeah, if you're if you are a very good shooter fan uh, or a very hardcore shooter fan, then uh, I then you got 20 bucks and you want to give it a shot go for it uh, anyone else keep watching it they're on a uh, reactors on a fantastic streak of these awesome updates so uh, I, look, I look forward to more and uh, I think I will go play some right now as I let this uh, video come to a close so uh, thanks for watching subscribe for more if uh, you want to see some more toxic updates I will be sticking with these as close as I could the last one came out a little later than I'd like to but I had some school stuff even now I probably have some school stuff to do but uh, that's okay we'll get to that whenever I can uh, but just uh, if you want to see more stay in tune like leave a comment tell me uh, tell me what you think about it what you would like to see and uh, appreciate the support so far and uh, thanks for watching oh uh, also got my good mic here so uh, listen to that radio quality mm, yes <laughs> all right thanks for watching see you